Melissa and Aaron here for True Stream Media. Hey, everybody. Hey, so you've probably seen a lot of stories coming out lately about outgoing U.S. Homeland Security. Secretary Janet Napolitano has been warning a, of a major cyber event. Uh, apparently she did an open letter to her successor in which she said, Our country will, for example, at some point, face a major cyber event that will have a serious effect on our lives, our economy, and the everyday functioning of our society. So she didn't say if. She said we will face a major cyber event that's going to affect everything. And this actually goes back to a story that came out in Reuters back in January of this year where she said a cyber 9-11 could happen imminently. And so this is something she's been really talking about. It's been a major talking point of hers. A cyber 9-11 is what she's calling it. So she's recalling that imagery. A super disaster. A super disaster. I came across this clip of her at the Wilson Center back on June 5th they uploaded this. And I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly play this clip. You've said that a cyber 9-11 is not an if, but a when. What would a cyber 9-11 look like, and how soon could it happen? It could happen uh, imminently. Uh, what would it look like? It could take many forms, but uh, let me just give one that may come to mind, which is uh, what happens when the electric grid goes down. You know, we saw that during Sandy, and you see how that impacts everything from the ability to uh, heat uh, homes, to the ability to pump gasoline, to the ability to have lighting at night, everything. So uh, when we look at the nation's critical infrastructure, and uh, where it is vulnerable, one of the vulnerabilities is through the cyber and the networked cyber world that we live in. So there you have her talking about not just a cyber 9-11, but specifically a cyber 9-11 that's going to knock out our power grid. To add to that, we've seen a lot of articles coming out about how our grid is basically on the edge of failure. And they talk about how where the national grid is concerned, simple geography dictates that we're always just a few transmission lines from collapse. And we just came across this from August 16th. This was in the New York Times. It says that as worries over the power grid rise, a drill will simulate a knockout blow. And this is a huge North American Union-sized drill. This is going to have thousands of utility workers, business executives, National Guard officers, FBI anti-terrorism experts, and officials from government agencies in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. They're all preparing for an emergency drill in November that will simulate physical attacks and cyber attacks that could take down large sections of our power grid. So this is a whole North American Union grid exercise that they're getting ready to do that they've been planning since March and it's going to happen in November and it's going to include all three countries. Yeah and just from a disaster preparation point of view Homeland Security benefits every time they fear monger about something every time they have a multi-agency or multinational drill as they're doing in this uh, case and it further branches out and gives power to the cyber terror units inside the NSA who have a brand new cyber command. They're looking to expand their budgets and their role played in the infrastructure of the entire country. But the point is they're using electricity and the grid as a new leverage point for control over society in several different respects. Yeah, every time they do one of these giant large-scale drills, nothing about it makes me feel any safer. Anyway, a lot nothing of... Nothing about Big Sis makes me feel any safer. No. I mean, it's upsetting enough that she's saying our country will face a major event that will have an effect on everything, including our lives, our economy, and the everyday functioning of society. Not if. Not if that happens. Like, we're preparing in the event that it might occur. She's saying when this happens. Like, she just knows that it's going to happen. Just like she was warning about a threat back in the day uh, during the sequester, and then Boston happened. Pretty interesting timing, right? And I know recently now that Twitter and New York Times were hacked, but I don't think that's the kind of hack she's talking about at all. She's talking about something that will completely demobilize the country. True. And just this thing with the Syrian electronic army, given all the lies we've seen over the chemical attacks in Syria, how are we supposed to credibly believe this is what took down Twitter? Did they even know what's going on? 
I don't know. Open question. Yeah. We'll talk to you guys later. True Stream Media.